Have you ever considered life through the metaphor of a video game? At first, such a concept may seem preposterous, but if you allow your mindset to indulge in this thought, you may discover a unique lens to perceive your life and self-worth. This mental exercise calls for you to picture the concept of your being, your existence, as akin to a character in a video game, your life unfolding much like a grand epic adventure in a sprawling open world game. In this grand narrative, you take center stage. As the protagonist, you encounter quests, confront challenges and navigate obstacles just like you would in a video game. Picture yourself as this character relentlessly striving and navigating through a world intricately coded with pixels and guided by artificial intelligence. This world, brimming with richly detailed environments, thriving ecosystems and an array of diverse characters, can be as captivating and engrossing as any physical reality we live in. What's intriguing about this analogy is how it parallels our perception of self-worth, personal growth and development. Could your character level up and improve? Absolutely, this is a distinctive aspect of video games, this unique capability to quantify progress through distinct levels and achieve measurable milestones. Characters can amass strength, agility, knowledge and skills, elements that echo our pursuits in the real world. Much like your experiences in reality, you can gain more knowledge, accumulate experiences, learn new skills and perhaps even obtain metaphorical superpowers. You possess the ability to evolve, adapt and grow, mirroring the character's progress in the game. You can choose to embody a wizard, a warrior, a scholar or any other character that resonates with your aspirations. You can test your limits, push boundaries and explore different paths, just like in an RPG. This comparison also extends to physical changes. Just like your character, you can become stronger, faster, more agile, or in contrast, let yourself become lazy, stagnant, or unskilled. These physical transformations, however, represent one facet of the game. The essence of who you are as a player remains constant, unaltered by these changes, but does any of this truly alter your core essence? your fundamental being. The character undergoes changes, but does the player transform? This question brings us to the crux of this metaphor. The character is merely a projection, a representation, but the essence is always you, the player. Are you experiencing life too narrowly? Are you solely focusing on what's directly in front of you, confined in a first-person perspective? Or are you able to step back and see the bigger picture? Can you shift to a third-person perspective and comprehend that while you're the character within the game, you're also the player controlling it? Comprehending this concept is of paramount importance. Your identity is not defined by the character's failures or successes, but by you, the player behind the screen. The character can change and evolve, but the player remains constant. Your self-esteem, self-worth and self-confidence should be grounded in the player, not solely tied to the character. Regardless of your physical achievements, irrespective of how much wealth you accumulate, regardless of your physical appearance, you remain the same player. Whether your character is a towering warrior or a humble merchant, whether they're bedecked in gold or clad in simple attire, your worth as a player doesn't waver. This metaphor serves as a poignant reminder that life, like a video game, is an experience, a journey meant to be savoured and explored. It's about growth, learning, overcoming hurdles and commemorating victories. Always remember, regardless of the character's achievements, irrespective of the physical transformations or material gains, you remain the same player. The essence of who you are, your inherent value, your worth, is not tied to the character you play, but to the player you are. No matter what you achieve physically, no matter how much money you make or what you look like, you remain the same player. Let's delve into the depths now. What is the purpose of a video game? An immersive form of entertainment that they are, video games provide players with a sense of accomplishment, an escape route from the humdrums of everyday life, and most importantly, a platform for social interaction. But there's more to it than just that. It's about the experience, isn't it? Video games take us on an extraordinary journey, a journey that travels through magical realms and dystopian futures, a journey that transcends the barriers of our reality. It's about how we feel when we're navigating through vast, enchanting virtual landscapes, how our hearts pound in our chests when we're facing off against a formidable foe, and how we rejoice and celebrate when we've successfully completed a challenging quest. Now, take a moment to think about it. Do you enjoy level 10 more than level 1? Initially, it's easy to think, of course, the higher the level, the better the game, but is that really the case? It's not always about the end game. It's about the journey. 
That journey where you savor every moment, whether you're a novice collecting wood and gold or a seasoned player mastering advanced skills. It's about the challenge, the struggle, the triumph and the defeat. Each level, each quest, each challenge represents a step in your journey, a chapter in your story. Now, let's look at this from another angle. We're going to talk about the hero's journey, a concept defined by a scholar named Joseph Campbell. It's a narrative pattern that underpins countless stories from around the world, and it's a pattern that we can see in video games, too. We start off as ordinary individuals, but through courage and determination, we overcome trials and tribulations to become extraordinary. Your fulfillment doesn't depend on where you are in the game. It's about the journey, the struggle and the triumph. Just like in a video game, life too throws adversity your way. There are quests that seem impossible, challenges that test your mettle. But what do we do when we face these challenges? We don't give up, we persevere. We push through the hardship, we learn from our mistakes and we grow stronger. And at the end of it all, we gain something valuable. A new skill, a lesson learned or even a boost in self-awareness. Now let's tie this back to our purpose in life. There are two of them, your primary purpose and your secondary purpose. Your primary purpose is to discover your distinct character in this game called life. What role do you play in this grand narrative? Are you a knight braving the front lines with courage and honor? Are you a mage wielding your power with wisdom and cunning? Or perhaps you're a rogue navigating the world with stealth and agility. Each role is unique, each role is important, and each role adds a different flavor to the game. Your second your secondary purpose is your quest. What mission are you on? What are your objectives? What are your goals? Are you on a quest for knowledge, for power, for love or for peace? Every quest is different and every quest is a journey of self-discovery. In this game of life we all have our unique abilities. For some of us, creativity comes naturally. We see the world in a different light. We see possibilities where others see obstacles and we see beauty in the mundane. For others, we excel in logic and analysis. We see patterns, we see systems, and we see solutions. These are your unfair advantages, the things that feel effortless to you. In the game of life, we are all players with our unique abilities, and it's up to us to utilize them to their full potential. It's up to us to play the game and live our adventure. Remember, life, like a video game, is about the journey, not the destination. That's what it's all about. As we go on this adventure, let's not forget to enjoy every step of the way, because it's not just about reaching the end, it's about everything that happens in between. That's where the true magic lies. In summary, viewing life through a game's lens offers profound insights and a unique perspective that is rarely embraced. This perspective presents a novel approach to life's complexities. It promotes the idea that life isn't just a series of events, but a complex game loaded with various levels, challenges and rewards. The video game analogy can be transformative in our understanding and interpretation of life. It's much like how we regard a game character's abilities and potential. Every game character, like us, is unique, embodying the importance of individuality in life's grand scheme. Our life journey, much like a video game journey, is about personal growth, learning from experiences, overcoming obstacles and self-improvement. It's about progressing, gaining experience and becoming a better version of ourselves. Our life purpose mirrors the ultimate goal that a player strives to achieve in a game. It's the force that pushes us to confront and overcome challenges. Every action and decision in our lives is guided by our purpose, much like how the game's ultimate objective guides every step in a video game. We should also remember that we aren't merely characters, but also the players controlling the game. It's a potent reminder of our control over our destiny. We can shape our narrative, choose our actions, and decide our responses. In adversity, we should see opportunities for growth, for learning, for self-improvement. Much like a video game rich with obstacles, each challenge overcome in life leads to a sense of accomplishment and a rewarding experience. Fulfillment isn't about reaching the destination, but about embracing the journey, savoring the experiences and growing from them. The joy of overcoming challenges, the satisfaction of leveling up and the anticipation of what lies ahead underscore this. So remember, don't just play the game, enjoy a bit of it, cherish the journey, embrace the challenges and learn from the defeats. Life, like a video game, is an enriching adventure filled with unique experiences that shape, enhance and ultimately define us. So play it well. Play 